Palo Alto network because despite exceeding Q3 expectations, Palo Alto fell down to about 300 bucks a share. That was about a nine or a 10% drop like that. We bounced off of there and now we're only down about 3%. The company expects earnings in the range of a buck 40 to a buck 42, basically was in line, maybe on the lower end, Pete, or in line, but that's not the kind of positive guidance people were hoping for. No, and as a matter of fact, it was fairly conservative guidance, John. I mean, there's a lot of numbers in there that look good, but it's always that time where you've got to kind of backpedal and take a little bit of a longer look. So what do I mean by that? Well, the revenue growth was 15%. That sounds pretty great, right? That's the slowest growth that they have had since 2020. So mm -hmm. even though they have that growth, it is slowing, and that is always a trigger for people. They want to see, are you growing, but are you growing at a pace that we need? And apparently this 15%, certainly that's a lot slower than they had been growing. So it made people probably very uh, yeah. negative. And that's why I think we had so much selling. That being said, some of the bulls decided to come back in. This is a stock that hit 300 very early. And now here we are closer to 312. 52 week highs is 380. Sort of right in the middle right now, but a little bit closer to that 380 number. So when I look at these earnings, yeah, the guidance wasn't quite as acceptable as maybe you'd want it to be. That kind of hurt them, but also the slowing down the bookings also, another area where it's slowing. That growth actually, John, is all the way back to 2012 when it IPO'd. The billings were up 3%, but that's the slowest that they've been going up since that time frame. So there is something to be said for that, and people are looking for growth. They got some growth, but the growth isn't anything like it was before. Yeah, well, this is one of them, one of many, Pete, that people have cut back on pretty severely. And so uh, uh, it's not a question of uh, that uh, they're panicking out of some of these tech stocks, but to the extent that you don't say something about AI in your report, uh, for the most part, it's hands out for a lot of these stocks. <laughs>